do you think what Hamas did on October 7th can be justified? Well, we don't, A, we don't know what they did do, but do, was it justified for them to resist the occupation? Yeah. But it, again, it's what you said, it's the Geneva Conventions. They are absolutely legally and morally bound to resist the occupation since 1967. It's an obligation. But are there limits on the way in which they can resist? I, as I said in, this, in the um, statement that I put out after it, I said, if war crimes were committed, I condemn them. I, and, condemn, I don't and, care who it is. Who and here, war here we crimes. are now three weeks or so after. Do you think there's been evidence that's emerged that suggests they committed those? There may have been individual things. What I, I was reading a new story this morning, which uh, Grey Zone, uh -huh, our uh -huh. friend Max Blumenthal. Uh -huh. So there's a long story which I read this morning, but they Haaretz have finally come out with figures of how many people were actually killed and who they were on that day. Uh -huh. On that day, yeah. yeah. And so probably the first 400 were Israeli military personnel. Who are? That is not a war crime. No, clearly everyone thinks military officials and or military targets or soldiers in Israel are military targets. Well, it depends if you believe targets. in the Geneva Conventions or not. Or, right. Or the, or, or the United Nations. But what about targeting civilians no, or abducting you, no, them? Course, no, of course. No, of course not. No, right. of course I don't condone that. Or But the thing was was thrown out of all proportion by the Israelis making up stories about beheading babies. They even got the President of the United States, dotard that he is, to claim that he had seen photographs. Of the beheaded babies. Of the beheaded babies. Yeah. And then admitted that he and actually didn't. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, I mean you, you know, it's, it's... But what we do know is whether it was a false flag operation or not, or whatever, or whatever happened, and whatever story we're going to get to, and we, we don't know if we will ever get much of a real story. It's, very, it's always hard to tell what actually happened. They're calling it their 9-11. What the happened on the American 9-11? Nobody knows. Other is the claim that you seem to value Palestinian lives more than Israeli lives. That's what absolute Nonsense. That's what I was going to say. What is your... No, I don't. All... This is the whole point of the difference between my platform and it's the, the Israeli government. I believe in equal human rights for all our brothers and sisters all over the world, irrespective of their ethnicity, religion or nationality. The Israeli government doesn't. They consider that people who of the Jewish religion have completely different set of rights to everybody else. This is fundamentally important. I'm 80 years old. Mm -hmm. This is the most horrific thing to happen in front of my eyes. And yet, the government of the United States of America and all the vassal states in, in the, the European Europe. community uh -huh. are all just giving the Israelis caught why, why? to murder two why women. Why are they doing that? Well, you tell me, Glenn. This is bizarre. And, and do you know what I think? It's, it simply has to do with wealth and power. 